We welcome you today to our video Bites of Bread here at St. John Lutheran Church in the town of Center. I'm going to ask you, what, what are you most proud of in your life, your, your greatest accomplishments? Maybe it was that 4.0 you had in high school or in college, that magna cum laude on your certificate. Maybe it was some kind of sports accomplishment where you took first place or state or, or something like that. And we, we all have that, right? Maybe your accomplishment is something that is much smaller. You, you, you accomplished a task you never could do before. But I think we all enjoy making these accomplishments. I have those same accomplishments, things I did in the past, whether they were sports or academics. Today, the Apostle Paul challenges us in, in a way to, to look deeper. And listen as he writes to us, because as we hear this picture today and look at this picture, think about that garbage can. That garbage can is everything in this world and Jesus Christ is what matters. And keep that in perspective, because can you throw the things of this world away like garbage and know the value that Jesus has? Because that's hard. The world tells us to value things and stuff. The world tells us to value riches and smarts. The world tells you to value those sports accomplishments, even at the expense of Christ. And on the last day, all those things, they're really gonna be just garbage. You can't put them before Jesus and say, look what I did. Here's my proud accomplishments. So listen as Paul writes to us in Philippians chapter 3. But whatever things were of profit for me, these things I have come to consider a loss because of Christ. But even more than that, I consider everything to be a loss because of what is far, worth far more, knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. For his sake I have lost all things and consider them rubbish so that I may gain Christ. Oh, those are powerful words. Think about that just for a minute. Whatever you think is profit, th those things of this world, they matter nothing. In fact, they're a loss if we don't know Christ. There's going to be many people with great accomplishments and many people with great things in their bank accounts and big houses and big degrees with lots of letters after their name who are going to have the greatest loss of all, the fires of hell. But as Paul says, even more than that, I consider everything to be a loss because of what is worth far more. And that's the key part of this, knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. The Apostle Paul wrote these words, and what's interesting is for the first part of his life, he thought all the things he did, the things he was really proud of mattered, that he was born to the tribe of Benjamin, the elite tribe, and he was a devout Pharisee and circumcised on the eighth day, which was the way you were supposed to do it. And he studied under this great teacher, and, and he thought he was living by the letter of the law to do everything. And sometimes we fall into that same trap. God, look, look at my church attendance. I haven't missed since confirmation. Or, God, look, I have been to Bible class almost every week. Or, look, look, God, look at my offerings. Or, look at how much I volunteer my time. Or, or look, God, how kind I am to the people in my neighborhood. And what did Paul write? These things are all lost. And Paul understood that because as soon as he knew Christ, what happened to all those earthly accomplishments? They meant nothing. In fact, quite the opposite. He was persecuted for his faith. He lost the prestige. He, he lost all of those earthly accomplishments because what was more important, knowing Christ Jesus is Lord who died and rose again. I think of that personally and what a humbling thing that is because there's just a part of my heart and maybe a part of your heart that just wants God to just take a peek and say, look how good I am, God. I'm better than my neighbor, I'm better than my classmate, I'm better than my coworker, I'm better than that other member here at St. John. And then God says, what? I consider all of this, what? Rubbish. And that word rubbish, trash, it's actually even worse than that. It's kind of the dump, it's the heap, it's the garbage, it's the manure. What? So that I may gain Christ. And really this whole passage is about priorities because what is our priority? doesn't mean we can't have the joys of this world because those are blessings from God. doesn't mean we can't have wealth and possessions, but we have to keep them in perspective and priority because what truly matters is if I lost all those things, because in the end I can't take them with me to heaven and they don't count for my salvation and they certainly don't appease our Heavenly Father. Only knowing Christ and trusting in his body and his blood shed on a cross and given to us through that gospel message and word and sacrament, that that's, that's the only gain in life. And so as we sit here today, I want you to again to ask that question, what, what are you most proud of? And in some ways, maybe all of us could 
God pleasingly say, I, I am proud of what? That Christ gave me salvation. That through the gift of baptism, God has washed my sins away and given me this gift of saving faith. But am I proud of that Jesus loved me enough to die for me and that he sent the Holy Spirit to work through parents and grandparents and pastors and teachers in a church so that I know Christ? What, what am I proud of that I have nothing to worry about because God won heaven for me by sending his son and one day he's going to take me to heaven? That that's the gain Paul was talking about. And he could sit in a prison cell and write these because that's exactly where he wrote these words from a prison cell. I have lost everything, earthly speaking, but I have gained everything eternally speaking. And I pray we can say the same thing in life. Keep it in perspective. When life is hard, when life is tough, when the things of this world seem to be lost, what do we still have? We have the greatest gain of Christ. We have the greatest possession of faith and eternal life and forgiveness in heaven. And with that in mind, go in peace. As Paul says, those things seem to be a profit or a gain, but they're only earthly profit and gain. Look to those things that will last for eternity. Let's bow our heads and pray. Dear Lord and Savior, we thank you for giving us the one treasure, you and your Son, and the willing uh, death on the cross for our sins. Bless us as we realize that's our greatest possession, never can be taken away, but gives us the gift of eternal life. Help us to keep things in priority, to know that you are first and everything else is second, as we give all glory to you. We ask this in your name. Amen. God's blessings as you live in that great treasure of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Take care.